What's happening guys? Hope you're all having a good weekend. Uh, just doing this on a Saturday evening. Um, just a quick video on how to wire up a room stat in a number of different ways on a number of different systems. The um, reason I'm doing this is because I posted uh, on my Instagram story the other day about a wireless room stat that was wired incorrectly. Um, and a few people were asking uh, what was the fault and how do you know which terminals are common and which is a switch live things like that so um here's a short video uh on how to wire up room stats in a couple of different ways so basic room stat wiring is you're going to have this could be a mechanical room stat this could be a wireless receiver uh, for wireless room stat um, but you're going to have three terminals this is your basics so you're going to either have a common normally closed and normally open now this could also be labeled on the room stat as one two three or a b and c now the easiest way i remember this is if you've got common normally closed normally open no spelt backwards is on so that's your switch live to the boiler so what you expect is you should have 240 volts on your common uh, when there's a demand for heat that will switch over to normally open, send power down to the boiler, boiler fires up. Right, so next up is how do you get power to the common? Now, you've got a combi boiler that's going to have your live neutron earth. You can piggyback the, off the live that's in the boiler. That will go to your common on your room stat, which obviously at rest when there's no demand will be sitting at normally closed. When you turn the room stat up and you hear that click, that means that's gone over to normally open, gone to the switch live on the boiler, boiler fires up. Right, next one is some boilers will actually have stat terminals on them. What this means is that it will have a dedicated 240 volt out terminal. So you don't actually have to piggyback off the live. You can take this 240 volts out, same thing again, go to, to the common, sits at normally closed when it's at rest or when there's no demand. Uh, when there's a demand, flicks over to normally open, goes to the switch live on the boiler. Right, so that's when you've just got a room start on its own. Next step is when you have a program involved. So you have the boiler, then you'll have the programmer, then the room stat, which would then go back to the boiler to tell it to fire up. So when you've got a program involved, your program is gonna have its own neutral and live. Um, easiest way is to put a link between live and one, which is the common for the programmer. The number two will be the normally closed and number three will be the normally open. And that is what's then going to send the signal to your common, which will then obviously be at rest, normally closed, flick over to normally open, goes to switch live on the boiler. So the way this works is you can turn your room stat up and down, up and down, up and down. If the programmer hasn't switched on, that's not going to do anything. There's no power going to the common. So even if you turn it up, it's not going to send any power down to the boiler in order to get it to fire. What needs to happen first is your number one here, that's your common. So imagine that is the same common as your room stat. So that's where the first 240 volts is going to be sitting. Now at rest, that's going to be sitting between one and two, not doing anything. When you turn the programmer on, that's then going to send 240 volts to number three, which is going to be the common on the programmer which then starts the sequence of sending 240 volts to the common on the room stat to the normally closed. When you turn the heat up, it goes to normally open and then goes to the boiler and gets it to fire up. Right, next up, we've got a programmable room stat. Now, this is just basically combining the programmer and the room stat together, hence programmable room stat. Now, again, programmer is going to have its own live and neutral terminals. Um, you can either put a link between live and one, which is to liven up the common. Or again, if you've got a combi boiler, which has got a 240 volts out dedicated terminal, you can take a four or five core cable and wire your live, your neutral, and then instead of putting the link between L and one, that 240 volt can go to one, which will liven up the common there. Now, this time, when you turn the temperature up and the programmer is set to be on as well, this will then go from number two, which will be sitting at rest, to number three, which is your normally open, which will then tell the boiler to fire up. So that's how you do it with a programmable room stat. 
Right, the last one is how to wire up a, a rum stout on an S plan or Y plan. Now, I don't want you to worry about the two ports or three ports, different cables, different colored wires or the programmer or anything like that. All we're focusing on is regardless of whether it's an S plan or Y plan, you're going to have a heating on from the programmer. Now, that heating on will go straight to your rum stat, to your common on your rum stat. Doesn't matter if this is a wireless rum stat or if it's a mechanical rum stat, you're going to have your common and the heating on is going to go to there. That's what's going to liven up your rum stat common terminal. Obviously, again, at rest, it's going to be sitting at normally closed. When you turn the heating up, that's going to go to normally open. Now, instead of it going straight to the boiler, it now goes to the brown if it's on a two port or the white if it goes on a three port, which will then liven up the orange, which in turn is then going to the switch live on the boiler and that will fire up.